I made my first game in Unity and published it around a year ago, but since then I've learned a lot of things, and these are my biggest regrets that I wish I had known about when making that game. There are many tools and assets that I wish I had made use of in the past, so I'm making this video so that you can avoid making the same mistakes that I did. Also, this video is sponsored by Unity, so let's get into these tools and assets. And starting off, here are some free tools. Many of these tools are open source and downloadable on platforms like GitHub, and a search for components is the first tool that I would like to highlight. This is a simple script that was made by a member of the Unity forums, and all you have to do is copy this code and paste it into a new script in your project to install it. Search for components does just that. You put in a type of component and then it returns a list of all the uses of that component in your project. And this is perfect if you want to make a change to a script's code, and then you have to change the inspectors in order to account for that change. And I've actually used it many times recently, and I know that I probably would have saved a lot of time if I had had this when making my last game, so that's why it's here. And secondly is a massive GitHub repository simply called Awesome open source Unity packages. It's got a list of approximately a billion curated tools that you can use with Unity. And while I do recommend shopping around a bit for yourself to find things that could be well suited for your project, I also went through and picked out some standout tools. Beast Console. This is an updated version of an older Unity tool called Smart Console. It basically provides a fully featured console for usage in game, similar to consoles in games like Minecraft. You can design your own commands pretty easily in code in order to improve your usage with your game and it's pretty neat for debugging and also just for fun things you can add in for players. Rounding Corners is a very simple UI tool that allows you to round the corners of your images for UI, and it's just a very useful tool to have in editor. And finally, Moments is a GIF replay maker. It automatically records gameplay and then lets you download and share it. This is great for grassroots marketing through your player base sharing fun videos of your game. I kinda wish I'd taken the time to implement something like this into my last game, Couch Combat, as it is a split screen FPS with lots of ridiculous moments, so it probably would've fit well. And all these free tools are great for solving smaller problems and saving time, but if you want to complete transform your work environment and are willing to spend some money, then a paid asset is likely to contain what you are looking for. All the assets that I'm covering today are actually on sale right now and I'll talk more about that in a bit. And while this video is sponsored by Unity who are providing the discounts for these tools on their asset store, I was given complete freedom in picking which assets I personally believe are useful. So all the assets selected here are ones that I personally chose because I think they are useful, and I have many hours of experience with most of them. But our first asset is Odin, Inspector, and Serializer. And honestly, you Using this over the last year or so has absolutely done more to improve my workflow and clean up my workspace than anything else. Odin Inspector is a very powerful tool for creating clean and useful inspectors in Unity. I personally used it in my new project to turn messy and hard to use inspectors into fast and smooth tools. Basically, it provides over 80 attributes that you can add to your variables to create things like buttons, dropdowns, groups, color palettes, previews, and more in your inspectors. And it also comes with Odin Serializer, which is an open source serializer that you can use to serialize practically any complex type and edit it directly in the inspector. Feel is a pretty simple to explain tool. It's an easy to use and very expansive way to have gain juice and polish to your game. You can easily add screen shake, pulses, particles, post processing, and over a hundred other effects to add as feedback to actions in your game. Plus it's just a ton of fun to mess with and you can create some crazy satisfying effects with it. Brute Force Grass is an asset I started using a while ago whenever I was making a Breath of the Wild fan game in Unity. And with it you can add grass to your game. But not just any grass, this is some high quality stuff. It waves in the wind, gets crushed by objects, and it just looks pretty. It comes with lots of demos, which really helped me set it up whenever I used it. And despite the default settings looking great, there are lots of options for you to play around with and fit it to your game's world. This video is sponsored by Unity and all the assets here plus hundreds more are going on sale. This summer sale is happening from July 26th to August 31st, with new assets going on sale every week. And I actually have an affiliate page where you can see all the assets covered in this video in one place. Every asset in this video is 50% off from August 9th through August 17th. Just use the link in my description. Using this link also helps support the channel. And also, after this week ends, there will also be two final weeks of best of sales, where the most popular assets of the sale will be heavily discounted once more, which gives you an opportunity to grab the assets that you missed from earlier weeks. Thank you to Unity for sponsoring this video and back to the tools. This next tool has already popped up once in my devlogs, and it's called Text Animator and it recently had a huge free 2.0 update. With Text Animator you can easily add effects and animations to your text. It works great for dialogue systems, and whenever I personally added it to my game, it only took about 5 minutes to get it all up and running, it's just that easy to use. Having dynamic and responsive artificial intelligence can bring a lot of life to your game. These AI can be 
enemies to outsmart, friendly companions, or realistic wildlife. But designing AI is a very complex discipline, and so there are many tools to help you do it. And I'm going to be featuring two that I believe bring out the best of both worlds. First up, Emerald AI. Emerald AI 3.0 has pre-made dynamic AI that you can use for all sorts of games, from enemies and shooters to wildlife to melee combat and even boss fights. If you're wanting to get a solution to AI that just works, then Emerald AI is a fantastic system, and it continues to get additions to it, like the recently added sound detection system. On top of all the already existing systems it has, like line of sight, animation profiles, a need system, and ragdolls. But secondly, if you prefer to design your own AI behaviors by hand, then Behavior Designer is a fantastic visual tool that allows you to create AI precisely to fit any need. It has built-in debugging and design tools, as well as a wealth of tasks that allow you to skip programming repetitive, generic behaviors. Behavior Designer is a fantastic tool for creating any sort of AI, from simple enemies to complex boss fights in any genre from a 2D platformer to a 3D FPS. When making sound effects for games, the hardest part for me has always been getting a good base to go off of. I know nothing about recording sound effects, and I don't have the hardware for it either, so I recommend grabbing a few sound effect packs to use as a base. Universal Sound FX is a huge pack of over 5,000 sounds that are already pretty solid for usage in games out of the box, but by combining multiple sounds and some audio effects, you can get exactly the sound effects that you want into your game. And so sound packs like Universal Sound Effects are a great base to build an interesting and immersive sound. Next up is All-in-One VFX, which is a toolkit that takes the very flexible and powerful Unity Particle and Shader system and provides a ton of assets and effects that you can mix and match to make practically any effect that you want, 2D or 3D. I have just begun to work with this tool, but I can vouch for the developer as I have also been using their other tool, All-in-One Sprite Shader for years in order to spice up the sprites in my 2D games. Both of these tools are also very fun to mess around with in the editor, and with some practice you can get basically any sort of VFX effect just by using it. As I mentioned, my previous game was a split screen FPS called Couch Combat in Unity, and whenever I built it, I started from the ground up whenever making the FPS shooting and animation system. And while this is good for my personal learning, it resulted in a system that took hours and hours to design and ended up being quite glitchy and had to constantly be bug fixing over the next two years of development. If I was making this game again today, then I would instead go with this asset, FPS animation animation framework. It handles first-person shooting and animation in an incredibly professional and clean way and also supports great third-person animation, comes with a few pre-made gun assets to start with, and has a great workflow for importing your own gun models and animations. And finally, the last asset that I'm going to be showcasing today is Playmaker. It's a visual scripting tool for Unity that has been used by the developers behind Hearthstone, Hollow Knight, and more. It's designed both for beginners who aren't familiar with code, as well as developers who simply want a fast and visual way to implement actions and events into their game. There are hundreds of built-in actions, plus you can even code your own. And plus, there's an ecosystem browser filled with user-made actions as well as tutorials, samples, and templates. Playmaker has been a juggernaut in Unity game development for over a decade, and most other assets also have built-in support for it. It's just a universally useful tool that is great to pick up in this sale. So these are all the tools and assets that I have to show off today. Be sure to grab them at a huge discount during this Unity summer sale. Thanks for watching this video, and if you want to check out my main game, Project Seaborn, which is a bullet hell RPG with unique turn-based battle system, then check out this video, where I go over the first 100 days of development by clicking on this end screen. Okay, bye.